Hi, it's Erica from Prixie Pets. Today I'm gonna clean the litter robot after having it for three months. I'm gonna do it step by step so you'll know exactly what to do. The first step is emptying all the litter out of the box. You do that by hitting the empty button. It empties it all into the tray and gets rid of it all out of the box. This is after three months. I used a scrub brush to remove any litter that was stuck. I feel we have more than normal because we use a walnut litter instead of the recommended clay litter. So we are looking into using the clay litter that Litter Robot recommends. Hit the reset button to bring the globe back to home position. Now hit the power button. This will save any settings you may have set. Unplug the unit. Remove the bonnet by pushing in the clips located on the sides of the unit. You will then want to lift it up and back. Pull out the waste tray completely. Remove the carbon filter and the bag full of litter and waste. Vacuum the tray if needed. Remove the globe from the base. Vacuum the base if needed. The base contains all the electrical parts, so do not submerge it. Only wipe it down with a damp cloth. We try and stay pretty green when it comes to our cleaning products. We use either hydrogen peroxide or a 50-50 blend of vinegar and water. Make sure to wipe down the drawer full indicator lenses located inside the base of the unit. Wipe down the bonnet. Using some mild soap and warm water, wash the waste tray, the step mat, and the carbon air filter. The filters are recommended to be changed every three to six months. Next, wash the globe in the tub. Again, only mild soap and water because chemicals like bleach can corrode the metal components. Before assembling the litter robot back together, make sure it is completely dry. The first step in assembling the unit back together is putting the filter into the tray. Make sure the top of the filter is under the clips. You then want to put the step map back into place. Next, put a fresh bag in. You can now return the tray into the base. When putting the globe back on the base, you want to put it on in the home position and onto the tracks. The key on the back of the Open Air 3 needs to be in line with the notch in the back of the base. Another view of the key in the divot on the back. After cleaning the globe, the shield can get out of its track. To fix this, just pull it down so it goes behind the track and then let go. Place the bonnet back on the top of the globe by inserting the tabs into the back first. Then rotate it down and insert the clips into the slots until it snaps into place. Pour new fresh litter into the globe up to the fill line. Plug the unit in and hit power. The litter robot will cycle and then we'll be ready to use. Here she is, all clean and beautified. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a more detailed article, that will be posted in the description below. And if you're interested in purchasing one yourself, we will have our coupon link there too. 
Um, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please do so in the comments below. See you soon.